Hello friends! Did you know that in Japan, Castle of Illusion was called We Love Mickey Mouse? True story. Welcome back to 60 Minutes to Lose on the Sega Genesis, a show where we play a game for 60 minutes. We'll look at this Once Upon a Mouse. There they are. There's the mice. Welcome to Vera City, where life is joyful and everyone lives in peace. All but one, that is. One who is jealous of Minnie's beauty and popularity. The Witch Miserable! Oh no! One day... They all died. There she is, there's Miserable taken. Taking Minnie away. Mickey had to do something. He chased after the Witch Miserable. All the way to the... Mansion of Trickery! Oh wait, Castle of Illusion. Yes, this is Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, developed and published by Sega. That's how you know it's good. Uh, copywritten by the Walt Disney Company, you know, in case you didn't know. Let's see, difficulty, um, let me roll with normal here. Oh, jump, attack, shot. Can I change this? Jump set to B? Yeah, I like jump set on B more than jump set on, uh... C. C on my button would be B. You know, the matter. Hurry! Before Miserable uses her powers of illusion to make herself look like Minnie and make Minnie look evil like her. Not be evil, look evil. <laughs> you must find the seven gems of the rainbow. They will give you the power to overcome Miserable. You heard it here. If you're ugly, you look evil. But be careful, the gems are protected by the Master of Illusion! An illusion. Because a trick is something a whore does for money. There they are. And there they aren't. Just as quick as they came. Alright, Castle of Illusion. Genesis. Oh, what kind of room is behind this door? Don't go in there, Mickey! Oh no. He's doomed. Nah, he's not doomed. I can just jump on him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. I have nothing to shoot with so far, so the other two buttons don't do anything. Immediately, what do I think? It's no secret. Oh. Oh, that's right. I have to. I, I have to hit uh, jump again. That was consistent with. Um, the Master System version. Obviously, it's no secret that Castle of Illusion is a gorgeous, gorgeous game that holds up to this day, and that could not be more true. If you're the kind of person who tries to, you know, claim that uh, this is just an average looking game, look at every other Genesis game that we've played so far. Like, yeah, very few of them have been outright bad looking, but to be this great looking? It's in a league of its own, man. Yeah, there we go. Pick up the apples, throw the apples. Don't take damage to the uh, bullet shooting plants. Just like that. Now, might not want to use all of the apples, but uh, anything secret here? I doubt it. Look at his little walking cycle there. Like, this is, man. They don't make licensed games like this anymore. They don't really make a whole lot of licensed games at all anymore, actually. That was like the, uh... The PS2 generation was like licensed game hell. Where every movie that came out got a video game. Let's say, is that butterfly evil or good? It appears to be evil because I was able to kill it. I'm worried about not, uh... Not attaching myself to these vines properly, or these ropes. Oh, look at that though. Get our little Mickey hat, because we're Mickey. I assume that that's just an extra life since it's labeled tries. Oh no, it's a big old apple. We're fine. Threw another apple on accident, but we'll live. And look at this. The leaves, the spider webs. Isn't it just magical or illusory? Okay. 
Almost screwed myself up right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the star, because that's your health. This is great so far. I mean, I know that I've just barely started it. But for real. Five minutes in and already I'm feeling like I'm playing something special. Oh! It tricked me! I was like, okay, they probably put the, uh, the health in a place to indicate that you can safely drop there. Not the case. Even a game as superficially lovely as Castle of Illusion can be a real jerk in terms of uh, confusing the player. Decent music, too. Okay, don't go down there. We found out the hard way. Always learn from your mistakes. And next level. Here we go. I wonder how many levels there are per little world. Beats me. Uh-oh. Now it's dark and spooky, and we got spooky mushrooms. At least we don't have a timer, right? I like a game where you can just kind of relax and uh, play it at your leisure. You're not feeling all... concerned about speeding it up. Oh yeah. You knew there'd be good stuff up here. The high road always has the best rewards. It may not always be the most visually impressive, usually all the, the, the best effects are down on the ground, but uh, what can I say? I need points. Do we just got a ton of apples? Chunk it at that mushroom? That's just an alternate entrance, we don't gotta worry about that. That's why they gave us so many apples. <laughs> Makes sense. Let's say, here, have more. Let me just go down. Oh, there's stuff over there. I am always tempted by a little alcove of things. It's literally just a, a single piece of life, but it, it's worth it. It's worth it. Keep you alive. Keep you in one piece. There we go. Easy as one, two, three. And here we got a boss. How do we fight him? I assume like this. Yes, okay. Don't don't try to double hit him though. It's not gonna work out. Crap. <laughs> Slightly floaty on the controls. I don't think that they're bad. I think I just need to adapt to them. I think this boss was in the Master System version. It's looking kind of familiar. But the level design is most certainly wildly different. Okay, good. Got him before I could die. Really would have hated to lose a life there. Here is the red gem. You have much more to do to save Minnie. I bet. I'll be happy to do it, though. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an incredibly charming game. Like, who would have thought that Mickey Mouse would be the protagonist of such a uh, revered title? If you were to drop a Mickey Mouse game today, most people would probably be like, Oh. <laughs> what could be inside? Oh, yes. The block world. So, it shares the same themes as the Master System version. The exit is, uh, hidden to me, of course. But the love- but the level layout is different, you know? I love that. I love when there's a reason to go back and play the older version of a game. I know, uh, they did that with, um, Splinter Cell Double Agent. A classic Splinter Cell stealth franchise. The PS2 version and 360 version were completely different games, basically. Like, yeah, they had the same story, more or less, but completely different level design, completely different pacing. So 
It was like, yo, you got a reason to play both. Not just the PS2 version, but, you know, like, the Xbox version versus the Xbox 360 version. Thank God. This is a uh, notably more, uh, deadly zone, as one would expect. This is so, like, European platformer right here. I've played a lot of European platformers thanks to having grown up with an Amiga computer in the house. They're all very aesthetically similar and that you there's always just like giant nondescript blocks everywhere and stuff like that. Biggest difference between this and like a European style platformer though is um, the European platformers have usually way more um, like a collectible score pickups and stuff like that. Like, they're littered all over. They're real charming. We're gonna see a few of them on this Genesis series, actually. Because, you know, the Genesis did incredibly well in Europe. Or the Mega Drive, as it was known there. I... You look, I love getting the projectile pickups. But I could use some health, badly. I'm in a bad way right now. Hey, thank you, thank you. That's exactly what I asked for, actually. I think, uh... The two most prominent examples of, like, Euro platformers I can think of were, um... Uh, James Pond 2, which I know is on the Genesis. So one day, as long as I can keep the series up, we'll get to that as well as the first James Pond, which I never played, uh, and Zool as well. And Zool was also on the Genesis! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! And there are a bunch of others like it. Like, really, I don't think it's a European game, but, like, Duke Nukem 1 and 2 are very, like, Euro-platformer adjacent. Just because of the, uh... the labyrinthian kind of, like, level design. Plus the, uh, just the sheer amount of score pickups, like I said, that's a big part of it. Okay, level one of Block World done. Ow. That wasn't very nice. You don't get a whole lot of bounce from the springs, oddly enough. Oh wait, can I pick them up? No, I just have to throw things at them. What if you're out of things? Hopefully the game doesn't put you in that kind of situation, you know? Where they're like, Oh, you need to destroy these blocks, but you have no way of doing it, fool! Very Sonic the Hedgehog right here. Definitely seen blocks like this be used in Sonic. Is this jello? It's kind of a not, not a bouncy jello, more of like a muddy kind of jello, you know? Not the kind of jello that you want to bring to the the potluck, lest everybody throws up all over the parish hall. <laughs> what a very specific kind of analogy that was. Look at him go. Mickey's just happy to be here. He's just happy to be rescuing Minnie. I mean, I'd assume he'd be happier if Minnie just, you know, didn't get captured in the first place. But, that's his prerogative, I guess. Yeah, they do do a good job of making sure you got ammunition whenever you need to break some blocks. So, good, good for them. We've only died once. I would love to die never again, but I'm not that naive. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? Oh no! The unicycles hurt you! 
I need some health, man. Give me two stars, please. Okay. That cleared everybody there, which is good. Nice! There's one star. I asked for two, but, you know, who am I to be a choosing beggar? Good thing they give you a projectile, or, you know, that'd be, uh, just a little bit impossible, some might say. Everybody die? Oh, come on, man! I... I screwed that up. Now I can't get... Wait. Hold on. Will they spawn this way? No, they won't. I messed up. I could have gotten... Oh, no, 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 I didn't check it. Yeah! Hooray, after, you know... <laughs> getting hurt and therefore wasting the extra health. Very good. Clever. I mean, it doesn't really take much thought on the player to figure out that you gotta reverse the polarities there. But, from a level designing perspective, it feels real nice. Oh no! <laughs> Whatever will I do? I have to turn around. Fortunately, unlike many platformer protagonists, Mickey knows how to turn around. There's another star. Right, because we probably got the boss coming up. Okay. Identify what you have to do. Don't just go jumping in. Okay. It's jumping. Okay, it's probably after... Oh, man, I took double damage there. I took... Triple damage there, so it could pro I had to duck. It probably punches, and then springs fall over. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yep, it punches, shoots out springs, and then we jump on his head. Okay. Simple concept. I'm a little slow though. Oh man. Wouldn't mind Mickey having a little more pep to his step. That's your best bet there, is just like... Duck every time... You... <laughs> avoid him like that, because you never know... When he's gonna bring out the sock -em boppers! Oh, who remembers sock -em boppers, man? I never had any, but... I sure remember the ads. More fun than a pillow fighter, so they say. Nice. I died once, you know. It's fine. If I can average one death per world, I'll probably be okay. This is the orange gem. You don't say. You still have a long way to go before you can save many. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High score me! Good enough. It has to be good enough. What do we got next, my boy? Let's see what's in this room! <laughs> Can't really do a Mickey particularly well. I'm not, uh, I'm not the impersonation king, you know. Another, uh, forest level, it appears. Getting lazy there, Sega! Why am I going up top when there's a nice little, uh, cavern that I can peruse down here. And I know I said that the... Oh, it's nothing actually. I was gonna say, I know I said that uh, the... Uh, <laughs> the upper path. That's it. That's always more rewarding. Unless it's a cave. Then you always check the cave. Oh, okay. Guess I can't go down there then. Fine then, keep your secrets. Nice bonefish. So far, nothing too, uh, nothing too menacing in this stage. 
Now, because they have spiny little bones, I was going to assume that you get hurt even if you try to butt bounce them, but that's that's not true. You do get hurt if you, you know, just run right into their face. That's tr That much is true. Question is, question is, does this game give you uh, continues if you game over? Because it, it, it could happen. I had the gall to say this level doesn't seem too menacing, and then I came to the bridge of death, and now I uh, heavily regret the things I say. That's an extra life, though. Everyone knows you always get an extra life at 140,000 points, apparently. It's the new golden standard. Just roll with it, don't worry about it. Oh, saved! Not saved. Wait, saved? Saved? Saved. Dude, I thought that this would have just been automatic death. But instead, look at him. How nice of them. To give me, the discerning player, an out. Now I guess we have to fall. Don't... yeah. I was gonna say, don't do that, please. Then he just went ahead and did it anyway. Wait, you mean... I didn't do it right? Is there something else over here? That I can apparently... How do... um... what? Okay. Intradasting. And I'm sure that there's nothing down here, correct? I seem pretty sure. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, and so I enter the first point of being a little bit confused. You knew it had to happen eventually. There's no bat that comes by that can bounce off of and leap over this section, right? There's no, like, charge jump like in Super Mario Bros. 2. Don't, don't take damage again, please. Don't then. Well. The dang rat did it again. He took damage again. Oh, yo! I knew I couldn't avoid that. I must be missing something slightly obvious, because this is a... Uh, this is a video game designed for children. <laughs> uh... I probably shouldn't, uh, trash talk it too badly, though, because, uh, pride comes before the fall. Hmm. Does it have to do with the mushroom? I mean, obviously the mushroom gets you up this high, but there's nothing else to do here, right? Oh, wait, it's a Castlevania thing. We have to select the, uh, red orb and then hold down for uh, 10 seconds, and then a tornado whisks us away to the exit. Well, it was worth a shot. So, naturally, at some point, you have to assume that you missed something. Right, you can't just, like, sit here forever, being like, ooh hoo boo hoo hoo why can't I go... Just walk right over this mountain. Wah. Which means I have to very carefully. Yeah! Bounce over like that. And very carefully bounce over. That wasn't very careful at all. Alright, Mickey. Let's just check down here once more. I'm pretty sure there was really nothing special down here, but uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't check. Yeah, doesn't seem to be much of anything. So, M Mickey, what are we missing here? As the protagonist, what do you think you could do to make my life a little bit easier? You know, the person who's uh, breathing life in your every movement? 
So when you think about it, you don't really have any abilities whatsoever. You're just a mouse. I mean, you're bipedal. That's a little... <laughs> Ugh, apologies. It's a little odd for a mouse. I think most people would agree. Yep, literally nothing here. Just real easy to take damage in the water is really the only, uh... <laughs> the only superpower I get from being down here. The power to get hit by fish! I wasn't expecting such a, uh... Brick wall. We haven't brick walled yet, right? Watch, watch. It was all a bug. Uh, that wall wasn't supposed to be there. It, uh... Spawned in incorrectly. <laughs> I don't think that I'm gonna get lucky with that being the case. Or I guess that would be getting unlucky, right? To encounter a bug like that? There's no way it's a bug. I mean, we get some health back, which is great, but then what do you do? I can't kill the fish down here. I only have three buttons, and two of, two of them do the same thing, and they don't do anything down here. This shouldn't be <laughs> a problem, and yet I'm making it one. Hard to avoid taking damage right there, isn't it? Again, dead. Just dying of death. Perhaps there's it's gotta be like one little cavern system that I'm missing, right? Where I can pick up this special Mickey Mouse branded dynamite and blow that uh, blow that watering hole to Kingdom Come. I was gonna say what happens if I fall down there. Nothing. You can't fall down there. But I can fall down here. Hey. Well, yeah, turns out I just have to fall down to the correct area. That's a little cheeky, I might say. But, it's okay. We get to move on. No no harm, no foul, they say. If I can't uh, mentally handle being put through a little bit of ch chicanery by a Genesis game, then I have no business doing a series like this in general. No, I thought I had to make some crazy jump to get over here. When, no, there's just an easy way up. I, I, oh, I should have known. I should have known that that particular waterfall was deadly because it moved fast. That's on me, you know? Fell for the oldest trick in the book. Who can forget in the very first video game, Halo, when the giant waterfall pulls out a gun and shoots you. That should have been, you know, my earliest warning to never trust waterfalls in games. So we gotta wait for it to end, yeah! Waiting. Something I don't always do best. Okay, well. We let the waterfall go down one more time. Or is it not gonna... Okay, no. I know that there's a, yes, a star up here for me. I need it for my health. 
Just like I need a good jar of Vitamita Vegemin. There's an archaic reference to stew over for a little bit. Boss time? I think it's boss time. Perhaps not quite. So, so yeah, this uh, this isn't quite a uh, you jerks. So say this isn't quite a uh, forced level redo. It's a full, unique little cave, watery cave level. Who doesn't love those? Yeah, may as well just make an outpost at every single platform you find. Trying to get greedy and beat out the storm will only result in your death. <coughs> oh, all apologies, that sneeze. Knocked something out in my throat somewhere. Yoop. I, didn't, I didn't have nearly enough time to avoid that. What the heck? No, no, no. We wait again. Wait again. And the second that I see it go down... Like that. No! Oh, stop! Okay, never mind. It's too, too early! Okay, made it! <laughs> you really do just have to... Be... Precise and flawless with your movement. You had to figure that the game would, uh, get tricky somewhere. No. No! <laughs> Shoot. That's the game over? It says try again. I get- okay. I get two continues. And since it took me half an hour to get to one of them, hopefully I'll just be, uh, good. And won't get, uh, too screwed over. Cope. <laughs> you can't hurt me, weird bat thing. Man, this is a way more fun time than Shadowgate, am I right? <laughs> okay, this this one's the tricky one. Fine, you know. I'll take that tiny, tiny L of getting hit by that one bat. The exit was right there, too. I was so close last time. Now it's boss. Alright. Ah, yes, yes. This, this archetype of boss. What? Okay, the hard part is, uh, you know... Kind of avoiding that initial hop. Never mind, it's the easiest part ever. <laughs> the easiest part ever. Die. You can intercept him at just the right spot. He jumps down. That wasn't the right spot though, as it turns out. I was standing a little too far to the left. Ouch. There, yeah, yeah. You have to jump a little early. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm getting frogged here, man. I was hoping to not take damage there. You <laughs> gonna call the frog a giant jerk. And it would have been real upset by that, I'm sure. Good? That not good at all? It launched out further! It screwed me up! Oh no! I only have one more continue! This is bad, bad news! I'm gonna get frogged to the beginning of the game. Now, those of you who are a little, uh, you know, 
most wise in the ways of the world might say, why don't you take it slowly and quit trying to quick kill him? Uh, why don't you stop being a coward in everything that you do in your life? That's <laughs> what I have to say about that. Well, look at that. You take it slow and instantly he's easy. Who, who could have ever seen that coming? Take my yellow gem. I can't believe I game over like, in one boss. You are a brave mouse. Continue on. You can't rest until Minnie is safe or you game over again. Come on. I need 50,000 points. So I can get an extra life. I desperately need him now. Oh, oh time to go see what we got next in the old castle of illusion. Oh, we're going up a, going up a level, baby. Here's another room, door. What's inside this room? It's a library. Dude, look at look at the attention to detail on this book here. The weave on the spine, the name that is there, kind of. Dude! I thought reading was supposed to be good for you! What are these? Knowledge bugs? Oh yeah! Give me the milk, baby! Dude, this is in every library. Who can forget the magic milk bottle that brings you to the land of sweets? Trying to, I'm just trying to focus a little bit because you know I'm a little bit under the gun now that I only have uh, a tiny bit of uh, life left in the tank here. Shit. Yeah. I'd call it a good difficulty curve that this game has, right? Like, you expect it to uh, get harder. And it doesn't get harder immediately. Is a nice little, uh, easing you into the challenge ahead. Which is what every game should aspire to. That... that's less good. <laughs> Please. Don't something just suddenly kill me. Take it slow. Don't... don't jump it. Oh, oh, apples! Never mind. I want to jump and get the apples. They don't give me health, so I don't know what I'm so excited for. Really? Already? We get a gem? Is that intentional? We don't do like three levels and then a boss? We just get a green gem immediately? Now try to get past the study room. Don't waste a second. Mini needs you. Did I... Was that a secret? Like, are you not supposed... Are you... Are you Oh no. No, never mind. We're right back here. So yes, that is in fact what you have to do. I don't like the letters. They, uh, they jump too aggressively at me. Dude, that's so clever. They're lamp... things. Hmm. Well, I just took a lot of damage in one go there. And I was supposed to bounce off of that, um, blouse. I assume that these are just giant lice. I'm dead again. I'm gonna game over forever! I was like, oh, it's fine, it only took me half an hour to have to use one continue, uh, so theoretically I should just never have to use one again. It's like, ah, did you forget about the difficulty curve existing? Truthfully? It appears that I did. There we go! Oh, never mind. You can you can just go inside the jar from the side of the jar. Classic jars, am I right? Can I go inside the cup? You know I can go inside the cup. Uh oh. I regret coming inside the cup.
I regret coming inside the cup. Nobody likes swimming in video games. Unless it's a swimming video game. How many of those really exist, though? My point exactly. Okay, so this isn't the library, it's the study. Which explains why there's all sorts of snacks everywhere. Because whoever's studying here isn't really studying. They're just like, hmm, a place where I can indulge in all my uh, sugary sweets without anybody else telling me what to do. Whomst Among Us does not have a snackatorium. Get out of here, bugs. I was gonna say, ooh, yeah, when do we get to play a game with Bugs Bunny? But then I remembered, we literally played the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. We've been there, we've done that. Bugs is old news. Just let the plane go by. I hate the letters! I hate letters! I hate reading so much! They send a bunch of A's at you because they just assume that you're screaming while you're being attacked by them. So that's all you need to spell out a scream is just... Ah! Wow, that was a lame way to land on a, a bug. That was a lame way to completely game over. Wow. I feel like I owe everybody a great big apology there. 42 minutes of progress and then just all down the drain. Practice. Wow. Practice hard and normal. That's how they really make you feel like a piece of garbage. They don't even have the decency to call it easy. They just call it practice. Well, you know what? Put me on practice. I don't care. Watch me not care. I, if it's just an unlimited continue version, then I'm down for that, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> well, immediately you start off with five hit points instead of three, which you then have to fill. That's a, that's a difference for sure. I'm not going to let the fact that I game over uh, sully my opinion of this game, by the way. That's a skill issue. That's me... <laughs> ...failing to attach myself to a rope! There. Yeah. That's me failing on my own terms, right? Like, the game gave me every opportunity to, uh... ...be halfway decent. And I said, no thank you. I'm a gamer. I'm obligated to, uh, perform badly. Says who? Says me. What I'm saying is, uh, you know... Wait. Red gem already? Is that what practice mode is? Is it just like you play one part of the level and then it's like, okay, next level, have fun. Is that what practice mode is? Unironically, yes, that's what practice mode is. Oh my god, that's so funny. Absolutely, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're rolling through it. <laughs> so, when you pick practice, not only do they just like, you know, again, verbally abuse you and bully you by being like, hey man, you're not even playing easy, you're just practicing. They're even like, all right, you piece of shit, you picked practice mode, now here you go. You get basically a demo of the game. That That's what this is! It's the demo version of Castle of Illusion. That's so funny. Well, I'm glad I didn't start with this, you know? That would... There weren't nearly that many pickups in the uh, normal version of the game. This is so funny. I'm glad I picked it now, because it just gives me something to laugh about, right? And besides, it's not like I was gonna make it back to the place I did in 15 minutes, so we're not missing out on content by me picking this. I gotta say, uh, a lot of people 
do have a lot of negative things to say about uh, modern gaming. I overall do not mind the modern state of gaming. There are things I would change, of course. There are trends that I don't like, but I just don't partake in those trends. One thing I do like is how we got away from the limited lives system. All it does is waste your time, right? I mean, obviously, the very way that games have uh, been designed is completely different to where a life-based system simply wouldn't work. Like, oh, what are you going to do? Make Grand Theft Auto file and say, okay, you have three lives. When you lose them, you get a game over, and then you have to start this, uh, like, 60-hour long game from the uh, very beginning again. That wouldn't work. I think that even these practice stages, though, are unique. Like, this isn't the exact same as this stage was in normal. But I wonder, does hard have its own specific set of different stages then? I can only wonder at this point. Yeah, 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 because see, this just puts you straight to the exit. There's not all the fussing about with the false ending. Interesting. Very interesting. This is like baby mode. They could have just called it baby mode. I mean, if you're gonna call it practice, just go all the way. See, look at how quickly we're beating the game. <laughs> Wait. Is this... <laughs> is this it? It's Mr. Bellow. You only need three gems, and then you save Mini. We did it! We beat Castle of Illusion! <laughs> Good job! You save Mini from the Evil Witch. Now test your skills with the normal option. There are many new and exciting levels ahead. Okay, that's practice mode. I guess now I'm obligated to set it to hard, right? I doubt that it's a whole new set of levels for hard. But... Let's see what changes. Do we start with one hit point instead of three? I wouldn't be surprised. Two hit points. Okay. Not quite that bad. Certainly uh, harder though. Are those diamonds there in normal mode? I don't remember, man. You can all, uh... Go back, rewind, and uh, compare it and tell me if this is mostly the same to normal mode. Maybe there's more enemies. I myself don't know. Oh, that butterfly. I don't think that that was there in normal mode, at least not in this first stage. I have no apples in which to deal with uh, this plant. It's okay, that definitely makes it harder. I'm very sorry, I have to pause the recording, I'll be right back very shortly. Okay, that was just a snap second for you. A little longer for me. Nothing serious, just had to, uh, had to pause for a moment and address something in the real world. Okay, we survived one single level. Nope, not even quite. It's gotta be a different layout than uh, normal mode, right? How would that be for replayability? Three different difficulty levels that all play completely differently? But I'm pretty sure that this is the same general thing. Yeah, I remember this portion. I remember being uh, spooked by it on normal. But... I have learned that as long hmm, interesting. I have learned that as long as you are oh crap. <laughs> oh, made it. Whew, what's the word I'm looking for? As long as you are swinging on a vine, any enemies that you run into just die then and there. 
Yeah, these... I don't think that these went so back and forth in normal. Well, then, just like that. Dead. Dead as dreams. One of the best black metal albums of all time. Perfect health. Now I don't know where to go though. Ah, right. I go here. And then don't grab that, because that's a trap. We've established that much. There we go. I remember. I remember. Look at this, we have three whole hit points to work with. Do we have two whole hit points to work with? Oh, I hate comedic timing. I, we have one to work with! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> I don't think that bat was there in normal mode. I think I think that he was a... Uh, he was a new addition. Nice little fixture to go with the drapery, you know? So apparently, I've also learned that the top route is the only route. Because down below is just a giant cliff wall. Uh oh. They're saying go this way. You know what? I trust you. I trust that you're telling me that that's an endless pit and not that you're just trying to coax me out of some uh, much needed treasure. Which... Uh, now that I think about it, it could be possible. Look at him go! He's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, stopped right in the nick of time there! That was, uh, some supreme timing, if I do say so myself. Yo! Don't get batted. Good, good. I think it's worth it for the, uh... The extra health, although this is going to be a real, uh... Never mind, it was easy. <laughs> I thought, I was going to say, this is going to be a real pain in the butt right now, but I, I lived. Oh, he's, he's fast. He's very fast. Oh yeah, this is what we do. You don't have to worry about how fast he is as long as you do this strat, land it to the right of him, jump over him once, avoid the acorns, hit him, continue as you see fit. I think he's taken way more hits on hard. But, once you find the strat, he's not actually hard at all. Now, because I've said that, <laughs> he's gonna kill me. Nice! We got him! On hard mode, nor hard mode, no less. Much more to do, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Technical bonus, ooh hoo hoo! A bonus that they technically have to give you. Another door. Ooh, couldn't be Blockland, could it? Dude, Blockland was kind of tough even on normal difficulty. I'm sweating already. <laughs> it's a good game, man. It's a very, very good game. Rest in peace to every other game that uh, had to share its release month. You know I'm gonna ra uh, rank them all. There were, there were only four that came out this month, but uh, the competition I thought would have been a little stiffer. But it wasn't really. Castle Evolution kind of... kind of easily takes game of the month. Oh, come on now. You joker jack-in-the-box guy, you. I guess we just let these let these guys march off to their deaths. Perfect. Oh, 
not so perfect. <laughs> A little bag of marbles never did anybody any harm. Except for the people you throw the marbles at. Oh, I almost bounced too, too high. Injured myself on a plane. But again, that's almost. No! You kidding me right now? We only have like four minutes of game left. Oh, royal shame! Been having a great time today. Despite the difficulties that came my way. But you'll forgive me. My first time ever playing specifically the Sega Genesis version of Castle Evolution. I couldn't quite say my first time ever playing Castle Evolution, because, well, you know. You all saw the Master System episode. If you didn't, if you're relatively new to this channel, or if uh, you just haven't looked at any of the Master System episodes, would strongly encourage it. There's some interesting stuff in there. The Master System had, uh, well, obviously some pretty terrible games, but uh, it had a lot of really good stuff too. It was a uh, real treat. Perusing a often forgotten system like that. The Genesis is, uh, is a little more of a uh, all-time classic, you know. But I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that people just never mention on the Genesis, which is the entire point of this entire uh, channel is to just take little bite-sized tastes of everything. It's a true sampler, you know. Why am I going up here? I was gonna say I died last time I came up here, and then I just die again. <laughs> just <laughs> accomplishing the exact same thing over and over. Now, if I were to, you know, want to put major effort into the kinds of videos here, I could, you know, edit it down into um, one hour of perfect gameplay, so you truly see the first hour. But I don't believe that that's the most um, authentic way to do it. I say the first hour of gameplay has to include the first hour of struggling as well. I'm not talking the first theoretical hour, I'm talking the first hour in all its uh, glamour and misery. It's just how it has to be, you know? I mean can be literally however I want it to be. But clearly I've drawn that line in the sand. I remember initially when I came up with the concept for this uh, channel, I was like, how about 30 minutes to lose? The first half an hour, and I was like, well, no. There are a lot of games where that doesn't tell you like anything at all. So that was when I... I so when I decided on the 60 minute concept, I'm like, I think most games of this era, especially, and get a good feel for what you're going to get out of it within 60 minutes. Yikes! And for anything that that's not the case, that's so far in the future that I'm not concerned about it right now. Like, I got no guarantee how long I'm going to be doing this stuff. I guess it depends on if I ever see any moderate amount of success, and I'm not even talking like... Oh, look at me, Mom! I do YouTube for a living! No, I'm talking just like, you know, people watching. It's the constant struggle. You always want people to watch. I don't believe that, you know, I have the potential to become a big, well-known person. Just, you know, an established viewer base has been my secret little dream. Well, not so secret. It's been what I've always wanted from ah uh, <laughs> from this channel. You don't get any continues on hard at all. Wow. Okay, that is hard. And that's yeah, you know, that's time. There's nothing else that we can really do about that. So please enjoy them dancing. Wow. Okay. But yeah, long story short. I'd love to have more viewers someday. I don't need millions. 
I don't even need tens of thousands. It's like, you know, a couple thousand views of video would be nice. But, enough daydreaming. We got uh, business to attend to. We have played each and every game that came out for the Genesis in November of 1990. There was only four of them. And I got to rank them for you, because that's what I do. Because it's a fun little extra that we can do here. So, from worst to best... The worst of the month? I didn't think that this would be the case. I thought this would have been the second best game of the month, but it's actually Strider. Strider's okay, but it just wasn't as good as the other games, I guess. <laughs> it's a little overly difficult at times, you know? There's there's that perfect equilibrium point of being just difficult enough. It exceeded that, for sure. So, that hurt it for me. Plus, the performance issues, you know. It's fine. Above Strider's Hellfire... Hellfire, obviously it's been months since I played it because of my uh, long break. I'm, I th If I'm remembering it right, I think that that was also really, really hard. But clearly I liked it a little bit better than Strider. <laughs> Above that is John Madden Football, which I'm shocked got second best of the month because it's a sports game. But it, what can I say? It laid the template for football games to come. It changed everything. It was... Uh, Obviously, future Madden games would expand on it and make it better and all that, but uh, for a first outing, well, first console outing, there, there were earlier John Madden football games on the PC, but as a first console outing, it was, it was something else. And then, of course, number one, Castle of Illusion, we just played it. Harder than I expected, but also very good. The, about the exact amount of quality that I expected. So, good job, Castle of Illusion. You've done it. You've taken the crown for November. What's next for uh, this silly little channel? Looks like a game called Battle Squadron. Don't know what it is. Never heard of it. Never played it. Never seen anyone talk about it. Which uh, means it's either going to do numbers or it'll just be a big old disappointment. We'll find out which when we get to it. Until then, thank you as always for watching. I'll catch you next time.